Hi, this is Thundee E from VodaWork.com and welcome to our AMD APU system build. I know we've been talking about this for a while and here it is. So I apologize for the delay, we just had to get a few things together, make sure we had everything all set. So here is our system build. This is all the stuff we have for our build here. Um, we have our tower, our parts, all that stuff. So let's look at everything we have here. First off, and you've seen the video for it. This is our um, AMD A8 3300 uh, CPU chip here. It's an APU. Basically, it's got a graphics card and a CPU built in. You've seen that, so take a look at that. Now, this retails for, if I'm not mistaken, 119 in UX. So, if you want to pick one up, it's 119 for the A8 uh, 3870K, which is what I am using right here. Uh, next, of course, is our case. Now, we our case is a Fractal Design Arc Mid case. This is a hundred and nine dollar case. And I suggest you always get something solid and good. It's a very solid case. It's got a USB 3.0 port. We'll show you more details as we go through the build itself. So, this is a 109. Uh, next up, we have our 120 gigabyte SSD from. Um, from Kingston, it's the HyperX uh, SSD, I believe. Let's see how much this retails for. I have this all written down here. This retails for $159 in New York, so you can pick this up from New York for about $159. Bucks. So solid, solid uh, SSD and a very good choice here. We also have, um, for our power supply, which is also very needed, is the Antec HCG620 80 Plus. Now this is the High Current Gamer Edition. Um, I suggest you go with this. Again, use quality products. Don't try to go super cheap because that will basically derail your build. And that, I believe, goes for about 85 on Amazon. Not available in New York right now, but on Amazon it's 85 bucks. Um, in terms of memory, Kingston also supplied us with memory, so I want to thank them again. This supply was the SSD and memory, as well as Fractal supplied us with the case here, so thank you them for that. Um, I'm going with the uh, Kingston. This is a, These are two 8GB modules, DDR3. This is actually 1866. Uh, uh, clock speed. So basically, these are high clock speed that 1600 you usually see with most uh, RAM. So uh, we're using we're going to use 16 gigabytes because our motherboard supports 16 gigabytes. And that next we have our motherboard here. This is the Gigabyte. This is the Gigabyte A75UD4H motherboard. Um, it's got. Um, super high speeds i believe it's got a plethora of usb ports uh you've seen our video for us so check out the video for this to to see full details but this goes for about 104 and you get again this was supplied to us by gigabyte so i want to say thank you to them for that and then of course we need a few more things we went out we bought a dvd drive this is a generic uh samsung drive picked this up at my local micro center for 15, 15 bucks uh, not too shabby, you can pick it up for New York, also a similar amount. And we picked up the Zillman, um, I believe this is CPN5 um, uh, CPU fan. Basically the fan supported for your CPU. This is a socket FM1 CPU. The APU is a socket FM1. So your fan must, must support that. So we went with the Zellman. We couldn't find any water cooling fans for that. And of course, don't forget any thermal paste. Um, to apply your stuff. Now, if you bought the package unit, uh, it will come with thermal paste on it. This is basically sent to us by AMD because they're supporting this build. So that's pretty much it. Things like a mouse keyboard, you already know how much that costs. Um, also, Antec sent us a few more things. They sent us some cool uh, uh, accent lighting so you can light up your keyboard around the case, make you some cool lighting stuff, inexpensive stuff. Um, the price will be listed down below with all the different products. So we'll have all the prices for the products for you guys, but we're gonna go ahead Set, open this up, you can watch us. It's going to screw through a bunch of times. So, what we're trying to do is build this. Also, have a nice clean build in here with you know cable management and all that fun stuff, and uh, we'll be good to go.
screw my motor in, you can see it's getting screwed in. Again, this is just going to be a long video, so uh, bear with me and bear with all the intricacies that we're going to have. Get a better idea. All right, so clearly see, you see what I'm looking at too. Mother butt is fitted in there, stands up. It's clean, it's steady. My mother butt is in my system, so that's placed in. Um, next thing we're gonna put in our power supply because power supply goes here at the bottom. Look where the case is the power supply is at the bottom. Mother butt is here. You got your one, two, three, three fans. So basically, it keeps you keep the system cool. We're gonna have our two. I have an SSD, we'll have a DVD drive up there, and we'll be good to go. So, go ahead and open up our power supply, which of course is this. It's our bad boy power supply here. Our power supply is fitted in. You can see, we stand this all up. Motherboard, power supply below. We have our power supply fan facing the vent here because we have a vent with a nice uh, mesh here so you guys can clear out dust from the system. Pretty cool. A simple process. All right, so this is how you actually attach your hard drive to the bay. You use one of the hard drive screws, specific. Again, it's pointed out to you on by fractal design. This is basically how it looks like here. And you basically attach the screws at the bottom of your drive. So where you see the drive board showing that is your bottom. Attach four screws so it allows you to basically lock it in place there. So that when you slide it in, you pinch, slide it in, slides right in, and you can slide right out. Very simple. And then you take, of course, the side screw that we took out and we lock it into place. All right, so the hard drive's in. Simple, very straightforward. And stop that. One. So attaching your SSD is also the same thing. You pull out your um, SSD, uh, hard drive bay. But instead of you putting the screws up here because your SSD is actually smaller, there are four smaller holes which you can attach the screws. And your SSD screw in your fractal case is technically the smallest screw you can find in there. It's again everything's labeled for you, it tells you which screws you should use for what, but it's the smallest screw. You put it in, again, you can easily just slide your bay back in, lock. Take the screw lock, attach it in, and your hard drive is in. Simple, very simple process. So we have our two hard drives in, and then you can see it again, very clean. What we have here is our 750, uh, 120 SSD, motherboard, and of course your power supply. So again, very clean and very simple. Now is our DVD drive. 
our DVD drive we got from um, Micro Center, you can get from Newegg also. It's a DVD burner, it's only 15 bucks, they're cheap now. I remember back in the day when it was like 180 or some ridiculous amount. So anyway, just gonna spin this around. See right here, this is your drive bay. Just basically go in from inside the case, push out. So you wanna slide your DVD from the front best to take out your back case here so you just see where you're lining it to. Put it in flush. A little bit more. There we go. A little too far there, you go, right there. Yeah. So you have your screws aligned and you want to basically screw that in. Again, I won't repeat this too many times, but Fractal has everything listed for you here. Simple to find out what kind of screws you're looking for. And so we're looking for the uh, FDD screw right there. All right, so it's time to put in our APU. Again, the APU is a combination of a CPU and GPU together. So this is the A3870K, uh, the highest uh, APU available. It wasn't until the Trinity line comes. So see that marking there? That is your uh, positional points, and basically look for that positional point on your CPU placement here. I'm going to drop it in. to lift this up then we'll tip to the camera so you can see this standing give you a better idea better look there we are so there you have it and that is the fan the motherboard you've got your two hard drives in there and your power supply again clean up next is putting in the memory and we'll do some
our build is complete. Uh, we're going to install Windows, you know how that's done, but I'm actually going to do that off a USB thumb drive here. We're doing the USB thumb drive installation, but you can see that's the BIOS and showing you the system right there. It's powered on. have an old keyboard here I'm just using it for the meantime. So I'm going to set this up and then I will show you how to overclock it, all that fun stuff uh, in there, but so far so good system is up and running and that is our build so hopefully you guys enjoy that if you have any questions or any comments or just once had, had need some tips and your own build let us know but hopefully you enjoyed our amd uh apu system build I want to thank all our partners who've helped us with uh, different parts from fractal design with the arc mid case kingston supplying us the ssd and uh, memory also antec for the power supply um, and um, um, you know, this is pretty much it, as well as PNY for also some memory, also from PNY. So, we just want to thank all these uh, people uh, who helped us out. And again, we have a list of parts down below, you can probably get them at Newegg, uh, uh, pretty cheap. So, check that out. Again, this is Thunder E saying thank you, and always enjoy your entertainment.